Hello and welcome. My name is Mohammed Akbar Hussain and I'm making this video about a problem that I'm facing with my Skywatcher EQ8 mount. Uh, I'm sitting inside my observatory as you can see it's a Skyshed pod. Uh, the date is 4th of January 2019 and the time is 11.42 p.m. And the problem I'm facing with my Skywatcher EQ8 mount is uh, after I've done the star alignment which it does perfectly uh, when I ask it to um, position itself towards or point towards any known object in the sky it just uh, goes crazy and just points anywhere like initially slows in the right direction and then after um, pointing towards the target it continues to slew and, and just keeps on going so I'm gonna show you how it happens so we have established the home position so let's enter um, declination offset no so longitude and latitude are correct for Adelaide northern suburbs the time zone is 930 plus GMT uh, elevation is 50 meters and 4th of January 2019 and the time is 23 would be around 45 now 23 45 yes we are in summer so we have got a daylight saving well we don't have polaris here but uh, it's pointing towards the southern pole southern celestial pole so let's begin the alignment so I normally find the two star alignment more convenient uh, for basic purpose so two star alignment so enter so we go to Sirius okay as you can see it's living towards Sirius So it's pointing towards Sirius. Let me just bring it in the eyepiece. So I'm, I'll just pause the video here. So Sirius is in the field of view. Uh, I don't know if you can see it with all this light. Uh, I don't think so. It's a good idea. Uh, no. Nah. Okay. Anyways, I had to switch on the flash so that at least I can see something. It's pretty dark in here. Uh, so let's choose the second star. Um, something that is in a convenient position on the sky I've been finding this star Suhail in a convenient position for two star alignment at the moment so let's slow over there uh, I'm gonna pause it again now the two star alignment has been success successfully achieved so now let's um, Tell the telescope to point point towards the Orion Nebula, which is an easy target. So we have to choose it from the list here. Uh, deep sky tour. Enter. So Orion Nebula. So let's ask the telescope to point towards the Orion Nebula. I just have to move the the dome. Now, Orion Nebula should be in the view, so let's see what happens. Now it's slewing, as you can see. I think I might need some more light to show you what the problem is, so I'll just switch it to the brighter mode. As you can see, it's pointing up 
towards the Ori Nebula and now it continues to slew. As you can see, it's now slewing towards the horizon and doesn't stop, it keeps going and keeps going and going. So pointing towards Orion Nebula, towards the Earth from Adelaide on 4th of January at 23.45 or 50. It's just crazy. I can even see the Orion constellation up in the sky and this is what the mount is doing and I'm a bit upset about it so I'll talk to sky watcher company and see what they can do about it this mount was bought uh, from Adelaide camera house in February 2017 um, so it's not even one year yet and it's causing some major trouble as you can see the telescope is pointing straight towards the ground uh, so yeah it's a big problem so so let's see what Skype watcher people come up with it might be just a software issue uh, because you know the mount is doing the two star alignment perfectly it's almost certainly pointing towards the Sirius and any other star that I asked it to point during the two star alignment so I think that is not a problem the problem is after two star alignment there's some software issue and it just can't locate the objects uh, in the proper position in the sky so thanks for watching um, I'll update uh, once I get this problem fixed thanks goodbye